morning everybody, Gary Porter again. It's the uh, time I showed you what I've got here. I've got, because uh, I'm getting almost ready to fire this thing up with uh, just a 12 volt test. I've got uh, all the coils are now wired and, and together. Uh, the pickup evens and odds and uh, the magnets alternate on each side going north-south, north-south. 12 magnets going around the rotor and there's 24 coils on each side and uh, down here I've got uh, the black CD. I got it painted black with six slits in it so every 60 degrees and there's eight LED sensors in that 60 degree uh, area. Uh, this allows me to do uh, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull uh, from even and odd coils that allows for maximum energy going in and that repeats itself six times around the circle and uh, they're all wired down to these terminal blocks down here and now I've got to do a, a, FET, a PC board with a couple of FETs on it just to do a test with 12 volts and see what happens. If I ping the coils with 12 volts just touching it uh, the, the lower ohmage coils uh, give me about 14 inches of rotation from a single little tiny touch and the uh, lower and the higher ohmage coils give me uh, about six inches of rotation that's per touch so you can imagine that at say 500 volts this thing should scream like I can't even possibly imagine I'll probably have to rip the whole thing apart and uh, get it perfectly balanced and and get that uh, rotor mounted on that sh on a one inch shaft instead of a half inch shaft but we'll worry about that later anyway uh, that's it for now and uh, have a great day I'll give you um, the PC boards are going to mount on top of the uh, uh, on top of the energy system uh, arrangement so they'll be about 14 inches in the air above that system and I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. I may get energy coupled into the traces. I have no idea yet. So we'll, we'll find out about that. Anyway, have a good day.